I've crisscrossed and I've zigzagged and I can't find it. Bless it. Do you know what? I was actually just warming to it. Damn shame. Sorry. Okay, so Mike's still out there at the moment. I couldn't find anything. He's about the right spot. Like I say, we both had a good old gander there and I came back des desolate and he couldn't, he couldn't handle that. So he's gone out for another look. Ugh, that's horrible to look at. So I'm gonna wait until he doesn't find anything <laughs> and come back. I'm gonna have one more little gander. Um, yeah, I think this one's a goner. Sorry guys. Okay, three days later and we have a helicopter. No canopy, but uh, we'll call that a win. Okay, so transmitter on first. And your battery clips into place. You got a light flashing on the back, light flashing here. We need to go up and then down. And then the light on the back will flash and the fly baller system is activated. Good to go. Now, I flew a Ninja 250 the other week and I was confused that this was going to be rates in mode 2, but it's not. This is, sorry, mode 2. This is in the second flying mode, more rates, but this is actually the mode 2 as in change the sticks round mode. So when you start up, hold that down and it'll beep and you're in mode, uh, opposite mode. It's comes standard, set as mode 2. So this has no effect in flight. The left one is take off and land. It doesn't change any modes. So we go... <laughs> and it'll get up to a certain height and then just height hold. And if we press it again... Oh, pussy cat! You want to play? <laughs> so yeah, this is, you can still control the cyclic, the right stick, when you take off and you land. You don't have to press anything, it'll just cut off. Now if you don't want to take off with this button, you can press both sticks down and out. <laughs> hey boss, you want to play? We'll land it. Okay, so we can take off both sticks out and then you lift the helicopter up as opposed to the auto takeoff. And then when you bring it down, bring it down. And when you've landed, hold down and it will shut off. And that's it. Those are all the controls we've got. So when you start off, you're just gonna be pressing that button. It's gonna go up in the sky and then you wanna trim the helicopter. So keep it tail in. See where it's drifting. I'm drifting back and left a little bit. So we'll take a couple of trims of right, a couple of trims of up, and see what happens. I'd say that's pretty good. I'm going to give it one more click of right. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> now the trim isn't super precise. But it does work. Now, the one thing you want to watch out for with any fly barless fixed pitch helicopter, really, is yaw. If you're yawing at speed, it won't be too bad, but if you slow yaw, it's going to drift quite a lot. That's just a slow yaw. So it's drifting off. Better go up. Whoa. And I'll do the same thing to the right. 
we fast yaw to the right, not a big problem. But if I slow yaw to the right, like this, <laughs> the heli is just going to drift. So you have to counteract that. Same as if you fly in circuits and you go in gently, it's not a problem. But as soon as you try and fly fast with this thing and turn a corner, it's going to either gain height and slow down, or it's going to lose height and speed up. Depends on what, you, what inputs you've got. But uh, as long as you don't expect too much speed out of this thing in circuits, it's very obedient. <laughs> Let's bring this in. Hey, pussy cat! I didn't realize you're still there. Let's play with you. Grass cutting. <laughs> See, if you're prepared to fly it smoothly, it really does reward you. But any jerky inputs and stomping the throttle or yeah, anything like that, and it, it, it does show its uh, fragility. <laughs> Pussycat. <laughs> so yeah I'm quite impressed with it really for somebody who wants to start learning line of sight flying or wants to start flying helicopters but they really haven't even got sort of quadcopter experience yet it's perfect it really is you don't you can learn your cyclic controls without worrying about throttle and that's the biggest thing at first dealing with constant throttle inputs with something while you're trying to think about the right stick and assimilate all the information it can be quite stressful at first this you just press that button and then concentrate on your right stick it, i mean it's slightly less precise than a small 1s quad to fly but visual orientation so much easier it's one axis of symmetry you've even got a light as well you probably won't see it very well at the moment but we've got a light on the back I mean, like a quad, if you were flying circuits at that, that distance, it takes quite a while before you can confidently fly a line of sight. You get there easier with this. Now, I'd say if you could already fly basic circuits with a quad or a helicopter, I'd be tempted to go for something collective pitch and just set it up like a fixed pitch. So you've got, uh, or with a little bit of negative pitch in there as well so when you get a bit of wind and it's drifting off and getting taken away like this thing can do in heavier wind or medium wind you've got a bit of negative throttle to or negative pitch to bring you down so there's a lot of lot of advantages there but if you were just about skillful enough to handle this in a relaxed manner a CP might be too much so it's definitely a niche market for this little thing but people starting out helicopters there's not really an easier way and uh, flying a real helicopter 
We've got a simulator. Hey, boys. <laughs> Definitely getting a bit more anemic on power now. Um, yeah, the only thing I think could be a little strange at first, if you learn on this, is when you if you're flying forwards, you've got a right stick pegged upwards, but if you want to lower the helicopter, you've got the left stick down. That's not how a normal helicopter flies. That is only a self-level quad or helicopter. Your throttle is stuck in the middle by default and sprung loaded. So if you're flying forwards, it ain't going to drop height very much unless you pull that stick down. So it's a real strange flying forwards mechanism if you want to lower the helicopter compared to any other heli. But um, other than that, it's identical. Hey, up little guy. Give me a oh, Okay, the light's flashing on the back now. So that means we should come and land. If we don't come and land, it will land itself. So we're going to let it do that. And just let it do its own thing. Now this battery's had a couple of cycles as well. See how long we get. Just a couple of clicks of trim there. Not any stick inputs. Oh, okay. Heli wanted to bring itself down then. So you get a minute or so after it starts flashing. And it'll shut itself off. Okay, so once it's flashed and land, you can't even spin the blades up or turn it on, which is fair enough. Okay, Papuccino. Take it off you, Landy. You don't need to touch that one so much um, for height control, yeah. but you might want to you might want to lift it up a bit. Hmm. This is the only stick you need to hover with. If I've lifted it up and I'll let it go. It'll spring back to the middle. It'll go back to the, the height. Well, no, it'll, it should keep at the height that you've put it at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But there'll be a, a bit of deviance. Okay. <laughs> Hello. It, it, it's blowing a bit. I had it fall back for a, a long time and it, it struggled. Yep, you're fairly mild on the controls. That's what Aidan was, was saying. He was, it feels quite soft. How's it feel? Uh, it, oh, you say it feels good. Okay. Uh, Do you think you uh, could... the wind blowing it? Quite That's right. Much, I think. Now, do you reckon you could do like a little pirouette, a full uh, 360? Maybe bring it back a bit first. Is it drifting off on its own? Does it need uh, some trim? Yeah. It's... Now you got a bit of wind now. This is what I was Ooh, saying. Uh, yeah. This is what I was saying about the wind. If it gets up, you can't bring it down. You can only angle towards the wind and forward, and then it'll bring you down. Yeah, I've got it full back, and it, it's not coming. It's coming. Back. It is coming. Yeah, the wind's blowing behind. It's all right, you're coming slowly. Uh, no, it's coming back. I can't get it right. Yeah. Let's see if I can fly it forwards. It's definitely having trouble with the wind. Yeah. We're getting there slowly, but yeah. Ah, it's coming now. Limited authority. Oh, you had it pointing to us. It was. It didn't want to come backwards. Whoa. 
<laughs> bubbly bubbly. Yeah, it didn't want to come backwards at a particularly fast pace. Like you said, you'd had a hold backwards. Mm. But now, the I can feel more wind behind us now, so... Yeah, it's quite gusty. Will it uh, come forward easier than backwards? Or yes. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like fly, fly into the wind. But it will push it down. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a fresh battery in it. Oh, I thought you wanted to run that one. Well, on yeah. Ooh. I was going to give you a bit more power, but have a little fly. Right, without getting it too far away, see if you can do a, li a little pirouette back to the same spot. Faster, 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 faster. Keep going, you're facing inwards. Uh, yeah, I'm pointing it to me. Isn't oh, right. I was, I'm meaning 360 that you're doing nose in Harvard. No, go for it. <laughs> Bad boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what you meant. No, no, go for it. I'm impressed. So, th that little practice with that little quad is it's paying off. Ooh. Ooh. I'm impressed. I didn't expect a nose in hover at you. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh. Considering that the wind's pushing it around a little bit. Really not bad. All right. Okay. Face it over there. Face it that way and just go. Ooh. Hold on. That's it. And just travel that way a little bit. Not much. And then do a 180 pirouette and travel the other way. Then do a, oh. So facing yeah. that way. Yeah. Facing left. That's it. And then go back this way a little bit. A little bit more left. Yeah. Oh, now you're facing us. Oh. But that's it. Bring it back. Bring it back. This is Heck good. It's touchy, this isn't is it? good. This is good. Picking out, picking out a couple of spots in the sky and just moving between them is is halfway to circuits. <laughs> Watch that dog. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Ooh, I think if you had, uh, see, it's, it's gone still now. Let's put the new battery in. Let's give you All a look. Right. It's got a little bit more power. So bring it back and then press your button to land. That's it. Don't press anything else. Just leave it. Ooh. Oh. You can control. I'm panting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, without the height control, you were like, yeah, no problem. I'll just turn it around and go from over to here, go to here. Mm. You weren't, you weren't constantly, your brain wasn't, wasn't so constantly slow, activated on that. Okay. Honestly, oh, no. when you did that nose in, I was really impressed. It's lovely and smooth. See, if you had, I feel like a sports hall, <laughs> somewhere where there's no wind, you wouldn't have any issues with, see that, that just take it across the field, that little gust. It's gusty. Yeah. When it does come, it's coming from over there and it pushes you this way, but there's a little turbulence over there, over that bottom corner. <laughs> it's not ideal, but there you go. If it goes out of control off the basketball cart that you, you think it's going to go, just bring it down, Act. bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, and then just hold, hold yeah. stick down. <sighs> no, it's the gust that I'm, the gust that I'm feeling now is too much for it. Yeah. This, now it's coming that way across. It is frustrating because you just need we just need a little spot, a little spot that's out there in light. Come this way. And try and face the wind, like oh, just yeah. this rough direction, and see how you go. So, left a bit, left yaw. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's plenty, plenty, plenty. So you'll probably need some forward or forward and left input most most of the time. Hey, up. <laughs> That's a nice recovery.
Take a few steps back if you need some more space. And that's possibly the best route because the wind, it's harder to come back against the wind. So if you're flying into the wind, it just gives you a bit more authority with that when the tail's facing you. Whoa. It's all right, it's all right. Remember, if it goes, if it goes tits up, you can just let your hands off the transmitter and then just bring it down. What's a kid coming down on a bike? No worries. Are you clear now? Let's see if you can turn right as well. Wow. Carry on flying, I'm going to get your concentration face. Eh? I'm going to get your concentration face. Oh, don't. <laughs> concentration fingers. I'm pretty impressed, Dad. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. It's that extra little bit of time that it gives you, you yeah. you're down with. I think it's too easy. See if you can do it blindfolded. Oh, I've got, I've got. <laughs> you, you are risking your... <laughs> your life with that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think I kept you in shot. That was a little matrix maneuver. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. You definitely got more authority flying forwards and backwards, but it will fly backwards, which is not a fixed pitch heli kind of thing, but the electronic stabilisation rather than fly bar does allow you to do it at a, at a slow pace. Yeah, that's really nice. You see how you turned slowly with the yaw then? You got a nice little corner as opposed to like a pinpoint turn. Really nice. And I've seen you turn both ways. Not just lefty going on here, there was some righty. Ooh. It definitely rewards you for smooth flying though. It's, it's, it's lovely to fly. Now I'm just gonna get over So if we had a Papuccino grade out of 10, what do you give this heli? This pa one? Papuccino's me, grade? Uh, Overconfidence, uh, eight or nine. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, so we can say a solid eight and a half out of ten for Papuccino marks. That's not bad. I thought oh. you, I thought you were going to land it on your head for a strong finish then. Got it. Was <laughs> It really is a long flight. I, I used to get five, six minutes off one of those little V911s, maybe a little bit more. I remember my brain was absolutely broken afterwards when I first started playing. It'd just be like, I need a rest. It's 15 minutes. Around about. Ooh, ooh, where are you going? <laughs> Why is it suddenly getting high? I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it's definitely imperfections in the barometer. It could be software, it could be hardware, or a bit of foam might not be over it properly. Just it's a pocket of air. There's like a load of reasons that I haven't even mentioned that it could be as well. Um, it could just be you. You're just rubbish on the sticks. <laughs> Why so serious? I've never seen you keep anything in the air this long flying. Oh. <laughs> oh there was, there was that. <laughs> Whoa! You got this. You got this. 
You just came in for a passing shot. Oh. Hey, this, this, this one certainly gives you confidence, doesn't it? When it <laughs> takes over that little bit. I wonder what I'd be like with one that <laughs> needed more input. I think more input you'd be okay with, as long as you, you've got the, the hands off, you know, you can let stuff go and it's only just going to drift at the height that it's drifting. And then visual orientation on a helicopter is way easier than a quad. Oh, it's so much easier. So I think your recovery is, is not split second, but within a couple of seconds, you boom, you're back. A slow yards are lovely. Really nice. Because you're not having to think about throttle, you can actually think about yaw as well as your cyclic. This oh. is this is really great. Oh. <laughs> it's fun, yeah, but it certainly <laughs> makes you pant. Did I tell you how much this was worth? Oh. 185 quid. No, it's not really, it's not. <laughs> well done, you are now a certified pilot. <laughs> well, oh, done. That was well done, little Hallie. That was brilliant. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, you! <laughs> Told you, it might jump out and get you.